Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Speaking of no resting, she doesn't rest. Director of Development for uh, Catholic Charities, Bobby Smith, is back on the show. Hi, Bobby. Oh, good morning, good John. Good to have you, as always. All right, we've got a lot to talk about. You guys are always so busy. And uh, we love uh, partnering with Catholic Charities and the work you guys do to get the voice and the word and the works out. Uh, well, let's start first and foremost with the big celebration, right? We've got the 100th anniversary. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, And thank you for the partnership. We always uh, love being here. We love partnering with Iowa Catholic Radio. Um, And yes, we're celebrating our 100th year this year. So it is. It's a big deal. Um, It's just it's so incredible to help the people of the Diocese of Des Moines. Um, And we've been at it for 100 years. It's, uh, you know, as the bishop would say, it's it's not a calendar accident uh, that we've been uh, at this work um, for 100 years. And Mm. so it's just it's incredible. So in September, we're going to have this big gala event at the World Food Prize. And we're going to have 250 of our closest friends and family uh, in the room to celebrate and uh, there are sponsorship opportunities available. So we, uh, if your business or, or your family or um, your church organization is interested in sponsoring, uh, I encourage you to reach out to me and uh, have a conversation about that. So um, we would love to promote you on social media or, um, you know, at the event as a sponsor and, and get you to be one of those 250 people in the room to help us celebrate. And, if, uh, and yeah. If you were to sum it all up, maybe a sentence or two, what, what are we really celebrating with Catholic Charities? Oh my gosh, the impact that we have uh, on the people in need. So, yeah. you know, we, we do the, the work that Christ calls us to do. Um, we are the hands and feet of Christ. And uh, it's just, it's incredible the impact that we have serving 35,000 people in need within the diocese. Uh, we do so with five vital programs and it's just, it's really incredible uh, the impact that we have. Uh, five vital, I think, I don't know all five of these. Oh, Do you have them yeah, in front of you? Absolutely. I don't want to put you on the spot. All right. You know them. You know <laughs> yeah, them. You're absolutely. a pro. Yeah. What are they? <laughs> so we have a counseling program. Okay. Um, we also have refugee services. So um, this next um, upcoming year, we will set, resettle um, probably 400 to 450 refugees. How does that work when you yeah. say resettle? So they come here um, and, and they've escaped all around the world. Uh, to come here. How do they get to Iowa? Yeah, so they have um, a close tie to um, the Iowa area. So a friend, a close friend or family within uh, central Iowa. And so we work with the U.S. State Department um, and the uh, USCCB, so um, the Catholic bishops, um, to resettle those uh, refugees who are escaping war or persecution, and um, we help them start their new lives here in Iowa. So um, it's it's not illegal immigrants; it's mm-hmm. it's uh, refugees um, that we're helping to start their. Um, their new lives here in Iowa. So really proud of that program and and what they do. Yeah. And you said, how many will you resettle or or help to find a place to live? Yeah. Between 400 and 450. A lot of people. Next year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Excited about that. that, Is that every year? That number kind of saying the same? It grows every year. I was going to say, it's kind of. It does. Wow. Yeah. Excited. Okay. So you got refugee services, counseling services. Yes. Yes. And then we have our domestic violence and sexual assault program that's based over in Council Bluffs. Um, I just visited that program yesterday. I'm so excited about the growth in that program. They also uh, work with uh, human trafficking victims as well. So um, just a really critical program over there. They Is that a nine home? Counties. It's a, there is a shelter okay. um, in that in that program as well. So um, they're at capacity at the moment. So, yeah, um, yeah they, they go out and um, they serve people um, in those nine counties. Um, so, you know, they're on the, on the road and they also have a, a hotline. So 24 hour hotline for those mm. people in, in need. So will they go, when you say they're on the road, will they go actually pick people up? Yes. Yes. Wow. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. 24 hours. Talk about a mission. I know. Woo. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. This is Catholic do. Charities doing this. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. Yes. I did not know that. Hands I'm learning so much here. All right. Yes, so we got yes. counseling, refugee services, domestic violence services that you are help. I mean, really lots of services for yes, them. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then we have our food pantry. Okay. Um, yep. So um, serving upwards of 600 people every day at our daily window. And then we have our monthly food program as well. That's um, powered really with the food bank of Iowa and DMARC um, helps us on the monthly side there. Okay. Um, is that here in Des Moines? The it is. Okay. Yes. Yep. Oh. Over on Heppel Avenue. Yeah. Um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, our emergency family shelter. It's a family shelter. It's got uh, 10 family rooms, uh, really powered um, to keep the family unit together. So there's lots of of shelters here in Des Moines that serve, you know, either men or women, uh, but ours is a family shelter, so really uh, geared toward the family. Which is really uh, interesting, as you said before, because it's 
there's not a lot like it out there. Right. Right. Yeah. Very unique. So uh, yeah. having that. All right. Here are the five kind of pillars. Counseling, refugee services, domestic violence, food pantry and emergency um, family shelters that you have here, which is awesome. So that's what we're celebrating when it comes to a hundredth anniversary, yes. uh, Gail, of the great work you do. The counseling services, I think, might be uh, something that a lot of people may not know really what they, they have at their disposal or can have. Can you talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So um, really, we are looking to expand our counseling program. So um, looking to hire um, additional counselors. Nice. Um, we expanded into the um, the school system a few years ago. So um, yeah, it's a it, we operate on a fee a sliding fee scale. So um, those who you know may not have insurance or mm-hmm. are unable to pay, um, we work with them uh, to to make sure that those services are available. So good. Okay, back to the hundredth anniversary date. Yes, yeah, September fifth. September. 5th. Yep. And uh, it's going to be down, you said, where, at the Food at the World Prize. World Food Prize, yeah. Yep, the food Prize. And uh, how do people sign up for this if they want to support? And where does the money go? Yes, yeah. So um, it supports our operations. Yes. So absolutely. That was so a all slam of those, dunk. Yeah. That was easy. <laughs> those five programs we just highlighted yep. for you. So. Yep. so September 5th, where do they go? Yes. Um, so you can visit our website. Um, so CatholicCharitiesDM.org um, is our website. So uh, check it out. And um, again, I can be the contact person there. So Bobby Smith, uh, B. Smith at CatholicCharitiesDM.org uh, is how you can reach me. And You guys just got a $60,000 grant? Iowa West Foundation. That's yes, awesome. Yeah, supports our, our uh, domestic violence and sexual assault program. Very there cool. I mean, you, you got businesses supporting as well. This isn't just kind of people in the pews. You got businesses and, and foundations and, and nonprofit people rallying around you guys, cheering for you guys, partnering with you guys. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Partnerships is the key. It's yep. awesome. Absolutely. OK. We yeah. also have of all these services we were talking about, you are also kind of on the front lines for disaster relief that people may not know Thank about. Thank you, John. I'm glad yeah. you mentioned that. I um, certainly want to uh, make sure that everyone knows about our disaster relief assistance. So um, this is a tremendous partnership, again, with Catholic Charities USA. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, the, the five programs we just talked about, we operate very lean um, uh, in our organization. So we only have about 65 staff um, mm-hmm. across all five of those operations. So while we would love to be on the front lines, you know, helping to haul out those trees branches and, and reshingle roofs and, and um, you know, passing out water bottles. We just don't have the the staff, uh, the manpower to be able to do that. But what we can do is provide some financial assistance. So we um, applied for some grants through Catholic Charities USA and were successful in, in obtaining those grants. Um, and we're able to then disseminate those funds to those in need. So specifically the two storms uh, that were tornadic within our diocese here recently. So April 26th, um, the tornadoes that hit Pleasant Hill and Minden, Mm-hmm. And then uh, May 21st, um, um, everyone remembers the massive tornado that hit Greenfield. Um, if anyone in our diocese um, does not have to be Catholic, anyone in our diocese was impacted by those um, storms, they can go on to our website, catholiccharitiesdm.org slash disaster hyphen relief. Mm. And there's a simple application form. It's just um, literally, it takes maybe five, maybe 10 minutes to complete. Um, write a couple sentences about how you were impacted, um, you know, who was, who was in your household, what's your address, things like that. Um, and you can qualify for some financial assistance from us. This is cool. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Um, we have um, $50,000 to disseminate. We have about half of that left, so there's still funding available. Um, you know, Catholic Charities is here to help all those in need, the poor, the vulnerable. A lot of times you you think um, about, you know, the homeless, those who are food insecure, but um, vulnerability does not just, you know, fall within those limits. Sure. Um, so it's it's anyone. Um, and so that can help with, you know, those insurance deductibles that can help with, you know, the the, the food in the freezer that you had to throw away um, because you're, you lost power. So um, anyone in the diocese um, can apply for those, yeah. those funds. Yeah. And- I'm on the site right now. Pretty easy, straightforward. So if you uh, need some help and, and, you know, anything and you guys will be able to sift through and help, you know, if they need help or if they don't, if they can't afford it, they can't. But uh, I would assume most people filling this out will need a little help. And so if you do need a little help, that's okay. There's nothing to be shameful about. We've all needed help in our time. Go to CatholicCharitiesDM.org slash Daster dash relief. Yes, yes. And um, the diocese also um, did a second collection. Um, So those parishioners in our diocese who may have contributed to that second collection, um, those funds are sort of kept in a separate um, pot. But anyone who 
submits that application to Catholic Charities. Uh, we I work in close collaboration with um, Laura Holmes at the diocese. Nice. She's, her office is right next door to mine. So um, anyone who submits our application, um, I'm going to also share her na- those names with Laura, and um, they could also be um, eligible to receive some diocesan funding as and, well. And last but not least, there is an event coming up benefiting refugee services we want to talk about quick. Oh, absolutely. Yes, we have another Centennial Trivia event coming up um, on Saturday, October 19th. It's at 5 o'clock. It's at the Pastoral Center downtown. Um, anyone who's been to one of our Centennial Trivia Nights um, can tell you it. it's a, just a boatload of fun. Um, we, wow. you know, play music, we have good food, yeah. um, and then, you know, bring a, bring a team or just register yourself individually and we'll hook you up with the team that night. But um, lots, of, lots of fun trivia and it'll benefit our Refugee Services Program. Um, so we'll have uh, lots of fun that night. I am so bad at trivia. Oh, it does not matter. Uh, we help you I out along so the way. Bad. and I mean, so I, I'm fun. embarrassing. <laughs> I, I I am I don't no one should ever want me on their team. If there's a Catholic question, I can get that right once in a while. Oh, we, we sprinkle those in too. <laughs> I'm so embarrassing when it comes to Twitter. It, it, th- things like I know, but then like you guys ask the question trivia, and I just blank. I can't do it. So anyway, so much on the docket for Catholic charities. They, they are just always moving. You can't hold them back, folks. They're always moving 100 miles an hour, and they got. A lot of different services, a lot of events, and a lot of ways to be able to support and get support if you need it. Go to CatholicCharitiesDM.org, correct? Yes. Thank you so much. Bobby John. Joe Smith, you rock. Oh, thanks so You're much. You're very good on air. <laughs> you know that? You got a good voice. You got a good presence, all that. Oh. You need a job? Uh, no. no, I'm happy okay. with the All right, we're not taking her away, I guess. <laughs> Catholic Charities should be happy to have Bobby Joe Smith. God bless you, Bobby. Thanks, John. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.